Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Now as you can see, today it's sunny in Bolton and let's just say right now with the weather as it has been lately, that's very rare right now. So me and Michael are enjoying this weather. Uh, we thought we'd just go for a little explore of other parts of Bolton that we haven't seen yet. So basically folks, come with me and let's see just a little bit more of this well, great city before we have to go back inside because you know it's actually six o'clock right now. Well, actually seven, seven, yeah. Anyway, let's go. It's weird, but usually when the sun comes out, I feel amazing. The past several months, it's been snowing, raining, and the weather's been so inconsistent. You think, what do I wear next? What do I do? Do I need my coat? Now it's like, well, guess what? This is all you need. Well, this is me technically anyway. I mean, someone else might want something even less or more. But anyway, when you see that in the UK, the weather's this good, England can look a bit more interesting than what you're used to. And saying that, folks, just come over here for a sec. Quick, come over here, come over here. As you can see just over here folks, we've got a bus shelter over there, I think. We've got an industry part over here to my right hand side. And as you can see, we've got a nice little road here. I mean, obviously to you guys at home, it's nothing spectacular per se, but I will say this to you though. When you're out here, and you see it all like this with all the trees and all the leaves on the trees and on the bushes and it looks as nice as this you can't ask for more now here's the thing folks when it comes to vlogging you know many people just tend to go to an area vlog the whole thing and it's all over well here on after vlogs we do things a little bit differently here we vlog we talk we vlog we talk even when it's live even when people are looking at us, even on a rain road such as this one. We don't, give a, we, we don't give a damn. Exactly, we don't give a damn. And then afterwards, as long as it's not illegal, then we're good to go. Okay, folks, as you can see, we're now in the park. Now, this park is pretty small. The play area is just over there. And, you know, it's okay. For the children that live around here, it gets the job done. And I can see over there, there's a swing. There's, uh, what else we've got? We've got a roundabout thing there, we've got some benches. So a basic park and nothing spectacular. But what can I say? This is what happens when you go on to a, a place like this. At least they've got a park here. Looks in the UK, we have what's called the roundabout. Now the roundabout is a little divider, a section where you can go in different directions and it's meant to link multiple roads into one hub area. Now in the US, most of you will never have seen this before. Most of you guys have straight lines or junctions, I guess you call them. So. I don't know how useful this will be to you guys, but let me tell you this right now. Roundabouts are single-handedly one of the worst things ever to drive on when, you're, when you are a brand new driver. If you don't know what you're doing, or if you're not that confident with driving, you're gonna struggle with this part. And believe me, even though I'm a bit older now, I still sometimes struggle with, with roundabouts, especially ones where you have multiple lanes to go through. Otherwise, this is a good invention said the man who made the invention in the first place but obviously what he did not realize was drivers are a bit immature at times and let's just say his creation went down into a ditch and unfortunately um, deterred drivers rather than help them out I was in Wales and I think I was in Snowdon not too sure but essentially I had to climb a mountain and it got more and more difficult. In fact, I almost died at one point. I was up the top of the mountain and I nearly fell off. So that was very, very scary for me, especially when you consider I was 17 years old at the time. So that was definitely not a fun moment. On the bright side though, I survived. I got to the top of the mountain. I was really happy. Getting down was tough as well, but more fun. 
and let's just say I you wish became I you became the king of the hill. I sure did, and I wish I could have vlogged that moment because it was so good. Perhaps one day we'll go back to Wales and we can vlog myself going up a mountain. And then once I do that, I can show you once and for all that I can climb mountains and that I'm tough. John, yeah. Batman or Superman? Batman or Superman? Yeah. Batman, because I can relate to Batman more and I feel Batman as a detective has to rely on his wit so it's more interesting to see what he has to do in order to solve the case plus I just love the, the, the look of Batman I like the way they shoot him, I like the way that they kind of resolve around his, him and the characters and not to mention the Joker is one of the best villains ever made I do love Sup Superman as well I've got nothing against the guy and I love him too but I just prefer Batman in this case he just he appeals to me more. Mm -hmm. If you enjoyed this vlog then, please do give it a like and a thumbs up. And more importantly folks, if you like content like this and a lot more, do consider subscribing. But other than that folks, thank you for watching Afro Vlogs yet again. And for myself and Michael, we will see you all next time. Bye bye for now. So, um, folks, since you're not here now, listen, 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 shh, shh, listen. Now, I've got a secret barbecue going on, okay? And Michael's invited. And what I want to do now is uh, go to that barbecue right now. Problem is, we've got no vehicle. We're on foot. And this is why walking sucks, by the way. Walking sucks so much because you can't get to your destination very quickly. So we're going to do the old-fashioned thing that us men used to do when hunting for animals. And that's going to be um, sprinting. Mm -hmm.